Hi guys, this is Wayne from the Autodesk CAM team and we're back with another quick tip focused on toolpath simulation. Here are a few tips to make it easier to find any potential problems before you get any code on the machine. In simulation, there's multiple ways that you can move the current position between each operation. You can use the CAM browser, you can use the simulation interface, you can even use the right-click marking menu. Notice how the timeline indicator moves in the position bar at the bottom of the screen. You can drag it between operations as well as any place in the toolpath. There may be a place in your toolpath where you want to focus in on, perhaps in a corner where you would see chatter in traditional type toolpaths. We can set the tool and hold it to transparent to see the toolpath underneath. And for position clarity, we can change the toolpath display mode to tail. It's difficult to set the position bar to focus in on that corner. So with my cursor on the position bar, I'm going to roll my mouse button towards me, which is going to zoom in really closely, allowing me to fine tune my position move right in that corner. By enabling show points, I can select any node on my toolpath. I can right click in the marking menu. I can set that position by adding a bookmark. Returning back to my initial settings, I click the middle mouse button on the position bar to zoom back out again. So no matter what toolpath position I'm at in simulation, I can always right click in the marker menu and go right to that bookmark. You may also notice the red markers on my position bar indicating where I have a collision. In this case, simulation's warning me that my tool holder is going to collide with my part. You'll save so much time and money by finding these errors in simulation and fixing them before they ever get to your machine. The same great simulation functionality is found in our Autodesk HSM Works, Inventor HSM, and Fusion Cam.